Thank you for tuning in to your daily wallops weather briefing for Wednesday, October 28th. We saw another very mild low of 62 degrees this morning with another morning of widespread low cloudiness across the region. However, we didn't see uh, that patchy fog or restricted visibilities that we have been seeing the past uh, week or so. So we are starting to see things uh, change a little bit and we are already starting to see a little bit of sunshine pop out when we should be seeing those temperatures get up to the mid 70s later this afternoon. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the region, still have some weak high pressure in control as of earlier this morning, but that is helping to prompt some southwesterly flow across the region, which will slowly bring in some uh, more deep layer moisture as well as bump up our temperatures into the mid 70s. Also that southwesterly flow will help to clear out skies a little bit more than we have seen in quite a while. So helping to give us a little bit more sunshine as we go late into the morning and into the afternoon. We are keeping an eye on Hurricane Zeta down here in the Gulf. That's expected to impact uh, Louisiana and the Alabama coast as we go into later this afternoon and evening. And the bulk of that moisture is going to ride along this stationary front that you can see draped across the southeast. And that is going to uh, be impacting our area as we go into early tomorrow morning and throughout the day on Thursday and into Thursday night with uh, this low expected to track over the Delmarva tomorrow night. But it is going to be uh, extra tropical at that point, so it won't be tropical anymore. But still, it is going to be bringing quite a bit of rain as we go into the next uh, 48 hours or so. Take a quick look at our satellite across the region. Uh, still seeing some widespread clouds. Uh, we are seeing an abundance of upper level cloud and it's starting to stream across the area as well associated with that deep moisture. And uh, we are already starting to see a little bit of sunshine out there. We should see, see these lower clouds clear out a little bit more as we go towards the afternoon um, with a little bit more sunshine expected than we have been seeing here at Wallops. Taking a brief look at our upper level winds this morning, seeing southwesterly winds to the surface running 8 to 13 knots and gusty. Just above the surface, around 20 knots at 1,000 feet, and then steadily increasing up to about 40 knots at the 9,000 foot level before they shift westerly throughout the remainder of the column, and then continuing to increase up to 70 knots at the 25,000 foot level. Seeing our freezing level this morning just above 13,000 feet. For today, going to be looking at a high of 74 degrees this afternoon. We are going to start to see more sunshine as we go towards the uh, lunchtime hour and throughout much of the afternoon today. And then seeing clouds uh, increase once again as we get closer to sunset. We are going to be seeing a uh, first chance of some sprinkles after about 8 p.m. And then uh, seeing chances of showers increase a bit after midnight and then becoming likely after 4 a.m. tonight. And we are expecting due to that southwesterly flow with... Um, some tropical moisture moving in, expecting another very mild low tonight, about uh, 15 degrees or so above normal of only 65 degrees. Taking a look at our winds, going to be seeing those southwesterly winds at 8 to 13 knots and gusty throughout the day today. Southwesterly winds will weaken a bit tonight around 5 to 10 knots um, and then increase once again as we get towards the mid-morning hours of tomorrow around 7 to 12 knots. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, we're currently seeing broken clouds at 1,000 feet, broken at 25,000. We'll see those clouds near 1,000 feet um, slowly dissipate, becoming scattered at 1,000 feet by the mid-afternoon hour, scattered at 5,000, broken at 25,000. And then as we go into uh, later this evening, we'll see those uh, broken cloud decks at 4,000 and 8,000 feet, as well as seeing those low clouds lower a bit to around uh, 500 to 1,000 feet. Then after midnight, as we start to see rain chances increase, we'll see those ceilings drop below 2,000 feet to possibly as low as 500 feet at times as we uh, see rain showers and then um, seeing broken clouds at 500, broken at uh, 1,000 and overcast around 1,500 to 2,000 when we get into any, to the more persistent rain showers after 4 a.m. tonight. We are still seeing tides uh, slightly above normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast this morning. So let's take a look at some model guidance to show you how this rain is going to be moving across the area. This is starting at 2 p.m. this afternoon, and as we progress through the time period, uh, can't rule out a sprinkle or so before 8 p.m., but that's looking unlikely at this time with uh, the consensus of the models. Uh, this is uh, running 10 p.m. We could be seeing some light showers, a uh, light isolated shower start pop up across the region by then, and then uh, starting here at midnight, we'll start to see scattered showers become um, 
more numerous across the region and then after 4 a.m. we're going to start to see those rain showers really start to increase uh, across the area and then that rain will persist as we go throughout much of the day tomorrow. Taking a look at our longer range model here. As we go into tonight, there you see that rain starting to overspread the region for tomorrow morning and the continuing across the area, mainly going to be across the central and northern Delmarva. It is actually entirely possible that far southern portions of the Delmarva don't see too much rain tomorrow. It's really going to be where the stationary front sets up and where it uh, ultimately streams that moisture and dynamics across the region to uh, see which area gets the best setup for some potentially heavier rain. Looks like the best chance to see some heavy uh, persistent rain tomorrow is going to be more across the northern half of the Delmarva though. As we go into tomorrow evening we're going to see that parent low track right across the central Delmarva it looks like and that's going to be our best chance to see some heavy rain pretty much across the, the entire Delmarva. Can't rule out a slight chance of a thunderstorm as well. As that low moves east of the area um, tomorrow evening we're going to be kind of behind this uh, main front at that point and then we'll see uh, some cooler air start to filter in. Rain showers will continue throughout Thursday night and into Friday morning but we're going to see some uh, much cooler air move in seeing an early day high Friday as cold air moves in throughout the day on Friday. Uh, expecting those rain showers to end though by uh, lunchtime at the latest on Friday as we see some drier air moving in with uh, some high pressure. As we go into the weekend, it's going to be chilly. We are going to be seeing high pressure set up across the area for Saturday, giving us a cool dry air mass throughout the day. And then that should continue into most of the day Sunday. We'll see another front approach the area Sunday evening or Sunday night. Uh, this is going to be a pretty dry front. There's lots of cold air behind it. Uh, so only expecting about a 20 to perhaps 30% chance of an isolated light shower Sunday night as that front passes the region. And then Monday and Tuesday, we'll get that uh, cold air mass behind that front move in, and that's going to give us some uh, chilly but uh, dry conditions as we go into early next week. So taking a look at our 7-day forecast today, mostly cloudy skies expected with a high of 74. Tomorrow going to be uh, 75 degrees, even though we're going to have rain throughout much of the day as we'll continue to be on the warmer side of that stationary front. It does look like we're going to get... Uh, that high occurring pretty late in the day, perhaps even in the evening Thursday night, and then that low is going to pass the area Thursday night, giving us that chance for some heavy rain or perhaps even a slight chance of a thunderstorm. And then we'll see those uh, that cool air move in quickly behind it. So as we go into Friday, we're going to see our high temperature occur uh, in the morning around 8 a.m. or so. Or, uh, and then we'll see temperatures plummet throughout the day. So only expecting the high official high temperature for Friday to get into the mid-50s early. Temperatures falling throughout the day with scattered showers expected in the morning hours for Friday. Rain should end by lunchtime as we get drier air moving into the area uh, Friday afternoon. Then we're going to Saturday and Sunday. Going to be uh, chilly conditions as we have a cool, cold high pressure setting up across the region. You see a very chilly low expected Saturday morning of 39 degrees high, only getting up into the mid 50s for Saturday under partly to mostly cloudy skies. Partly to mostly cloudy once again Sunday, but we'll have a more of a southerly flow return, helping to bump those temperatures back up into the mid 60s for Sunday afternoon. Then Sunday afternoon, we're going to Sunday evening and into Sunday night, we're going to get another front moving across the area. This looks like a pretty dry front, so only expecting a slight chance of some isolated to widely scattered shower activity. And then, as you can see, Monday, as that high as a high pressure building once again, uh, does look like we're going to get that pretty tight pressure gradient set up across the area from Monday. That'll help. Uh, dry things out but also going to be giving us some uh, gusty winds on Monday as we get that cool air mass moving in high only expected to get up into the low 50s and then on Tuesday expecting mostly sunny skies as we have that high pressure really taking control of the mid-Atlantic that'll give us a, a chilly temp chilly high of 57 degrees and a very cold Tuesday morning low of 38. That will do it for your daily weather briefing. Have a good day.